okay so we got some summons um we got like two multis or a multi um i think we got two multis right um this is going to be in front of the uh video of you know checking out pride wins me cuff thing right forget shaft forget shaft it. we are gonna go for i think two more copies of lamilla and then hopefully we can get Anne along the way or scarlet because we don't got scarlet we don't got scarlet so let's see if we can get something um w they subscribed hey I'm, hey hey ah it's the very last one it's fine it could be scarlet right how would it it would be great if we could get scarlet literally before 2023 ends bro because then y'all can't say nothing let's take a look at what we got let miller please let miller let miller okay good so now she is lb2 right we need one more let miller and then she will be max limit broken Let's see if we can do that in this next multi. Hopefully, just bless me. Um, honestly, chap, with all this stuff, ah, uh, we got shafted. Okay, we got shafted. It's fine. But W, we got uh, Lud Miller. So now into the video. Alrighty, so we got the Mika ranking from Pride Win. Um, it is always nice to take a look at other people's opinions and tier lists when taking a look at a tier list, right? So you can understand uh, how good a character is with different comparisons. I have not actually seen anything for Mika yet. So uh, I know it's been out for maybe a day or so. Um, I have not seen anything, but let's take a look where they actually rank her. If you need a reminder on the community tier list, we ranked her in the high A, right? Uh, you can argue low S or even um, in the B tier, like high B. I don't think she's low or like in the B tier at all. I think she's either in the A or you could have the argument again for low S, but I'm fine with the A tier. Let's take a look at what they're saying. Make sure you guys subscribe and like and uh, yeah, uh, sponsorship. Kami Zioxus. I mean, that's not a sponsor of today's video, but we'll move, right? Um, so we're just gonna take a look at their. We'll come back to the teams in a second. Okay. So S in early, um, story B in late story A and everything else. So essentially, that's an average of A ranking. So again, it's the exact same ranking as us, right? <laughs> Literally, it's the exact same ranking as uh, us, right? Um, so this is good, right? It just shows that um, right? I guess. Everybody in the community just comes to an agreement, right? Pride win. Everybody who voted for our tier list. We had like, a, I think 11. No, I think we had 10,000 votes for our tier list, right? Um, and the majority of that was in A tier. So that's nice to see. Let's take a look at the pros and cons. And uh, I've used the Mika a decent amount of time. So I can actually tell you this time. Um, I mean, I tell you all the time, but let's just go. So she cleanses the buffs um, and stack refreshes both this our situation. What? Situation situate what Situ what <laughs> situationally i haven't read that word <laughs> i've never seen that word i swear situationally useful i've never seen that word before um wow okay nice um some skills trigger uh intervals can be shortened with uh max ammo capacity cap uh, max ammo buff or overload provides attack buffs regardless of its low value or um provides permanent Team-wide damage reduction at max ammo capacity. Great for all uh, ammo dependent units. 1 million percent. And then one of the better replacements for burst 1 raids uh, in, in PvP if you lack the meta units. Decent burst generation thanks to her skill too. Very true. Um, let's see. Is there any other thing that I think I would have put in cons? I mean, let her pros. Let me look at the cons first and then I'll come back to that. So needs high investments, especially for skill two to be fully. Uh, yeah, she does. She needs really high investments. It's not like get her up just a tad bit. She needs fully investments. And even still, honestly, like unless you're in a long fight, it's not worth it. To be honest, it's not worth it. Right. Um, gives casters attack buff, which means weaker buff for attackers or gives casters attack buff. OK, um, which is weaker for attackers. Yep. Um, this also forces you to invest into her in her gear. I mean, these are the same thing, but it's fine. Cannot compete with top tier burst one Nikkei's due to her overall weaker attack buff. Competing in terms of okay, as the main burst one, sure. Right? Because she's not there's not many she's competing with. Look at all the burst ones we have. I'm telling you, there's only like five characters she's competing with. She's competing with Dorothy, 
She's competing with Litter. She's competing with Tia and competing with Mary uh, Big Goddess. That's it. Nobody else here she's competing with. And I, no, not even Red Hood because Red Hood is meant for a burst one. Or and Volume and Volume. That's who she's competing with. Those are the only characters she's like competing with, right? Um, or not competing with, but those are the only characters she would compete with. So there's that. Feeds burst energy. What burst energy to Jackal, restricting usability in PvP. I see. Um. Is there a, I feel like there's a pro missing somewhere. Cleanses. Uh yep. Okay. Skill triggers. Yep. Um I feel like there's something missing here. No, I'm tripping. It's right there where it says stack refresh. I was like, what? I know she did something very important that I'm not really here to stack. That's what it was. I was like, what? Class of Demon and stack refreshes. Uh, okay, I was about to say. I was about to say. There's a, the very, something very, very important that was missing. But no, it's right there. Let's take a look at what they... Oh, let's see what they say for should you pull. I mean, at this point, you probably already pulled. Um, Probably no, right? Just because I do believe there is a New Year's program. Um, But let's take a look. Uh, for the vast majority of players, we honestly cannot recommend obtaining her for now due to the lack of versatility and ex uh, exo exo be written. What the flip? I don't even know that word. I'm stupid. But then when I put it in pronunciations, look what it gives me. Exorb exorbitant. Oh, exorbitant. Okay, no, I do know that word. <laughs> I'm just stupid. That investment uh, cost. However, if new units with better synergy are released in the future, and if but, but it. You know, I don't know how this makes sense, though. Like, okay, for me, like, I think they forgot that she's a limited character. So this line right here, because let's say the brand new character, let's say the next character is like, you know, that character that they're saying right here, right? If new synergy, like better synergies are released in the future. If the brand new character is that character or those characters, let's say the next three banners are those characters that work perfectly with Mika. Right, you know what I mean? She's a limited character and you're not gonna be able to get her until next Christmas, right? And probably by then, if they do drop like, let's say in next banner, a couple banners and stuff like that, they're probably gonna get replaced by the end of next year. So uh, yeah, it's really just like, I would say me personally, just get one copy because she actually does have use. If you're like only looking at her as a main burst one character, sure, I can understand why you would want to skip. But as a character who has like the stacking is very useful as well. That's her biggest thing for me. I think the stacking she has from her skill two um, is her biggest feat personally. The damage reduction is cool. It's not that crazy. It's cool. The max damage capacity is cool. Um, That's quite good, but it just takes long to get. But I feel like the stacking to all allies after 150 normal attacks is what carries this character. Um, But I personally would recommend to get one copy just because you can't really tell the future. And this is not a character you can get anytime you please. Um, Right? That's just what I think personally. But it's always up to you guys. Let's take a look at some of her best teams. Burst 1, her, a uh, burst 2 with Dala and uh, or Helm. A flexible burst three, um, or I guess a flex unit at burst three and then helm. Sure. Um, I actually think I ran this team with uh Rupee. It was Mika Rupee. I believe it was somebody else. Lanmilla and then uh, what's her name? Lanmilla, Helm, and then I think it was Modernia. Yeah, that's what I had, right? Um they got wow, okay, Tove Mika a shotgun character right as a burst to a okay sugar or okay okay not bad um and then this is the team that like i think is my favorite team with her which is mika diesel and then like machine gun characters right because i think machine gun characters will benefit the most from having Diesel on the team me personally so if i am going to run this team it's going to be with len miller and modernia right probably not another burst two character just because i feel like i don't need it um but you can always have this the exact same team, right? And for PvP comps, and a lot of you guys don't do PvP, so this is what it is. I don't think I even need to explain it. A lot of you guys don't do PvP. Um, but overall, the rankings are fine, right? If you, the only thing I think I would disagree with here is the simple fact that, um, like they're saying they cannot recommend obtaining her due to a lack of versatility. I guess it is. It's understandable, right? Um, but like you don't have to pull the character and then invest into her right away, right? I think like you can pull the character and over time when you decide you want to use her, I guess you could uh invest into her, right? If they're 
thing that they can't recommend because of her investment costs. Um, but I don't know, right? Me personally, I think I would recommend one copy to every single player just because she could have so many use, right? We can't really, again, tell the future. For all we know, the next character could be the new best character in the game and her best partner. It's essentially just a um, 2B and uh, what's her name? Mass situation, right? Where Mass, even though I was already saying Mass was a good character beforehand, um, but then when 2B dropped, everybody like ended up skipping Mass, and 2B's best partner was Mass. A lot of people regret it, right? And this is like a kind of that situation where, in Mass case, she just had that one thing that made her like made 2B really shine, right? That's that's what Mass's whole thing was. She had that one thing, which was lowering the hp and increasing the oh, basically just increasing max hp making air hit harder i feel like this stacking thing right the stack and even ammo capacity but mainly the stack that mika gives is going to be very beneficial in the future but again i can't tell it's just for like just in case purposes but again it's always up to you let me know what you guys think w pride win again for the w rankings right this uh averages at a if it's at s and then b middle grand is a and then everything else is a averages a i think you guys understand that which is equivalent to what the community voted so w pride win but uh you guys let me know what you think your boys i'm out peace